Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, this is Lucid, and we have another turn for you here. Uh, this is going to be another single turn episode. It's uh, going to be less long and less rambly than the, the previous one. Uh, but, I don't know. I just feel like recording them one at a time right now. Uh, I got a Ring of the Warrior from Krieg. Uh, I believe we had traded him three pearls for this, which I might have been able to get a better deal somewhere else, but that was about what other people wanted, too. So, um, yeah, that's actually really good. Um, it's going to mean five attack skill for our god, which could be super important. Uh, we have a few battles here. We saw a battle with Baratos, and they're doing elephant expansion, and it actually ends up failing. Uh, so one is the elephants eat the lance charge, which you don't want them to do. Uh, they kill Heavy Cap, they're good at killing them, but then when one dies, this guy squishes somebody on his way out. Um, I'm not sure, this is... It's hard to do Elephant Expansion with this few troops, because on one hand, you want to have... I mean, having these guys eat the Lance Charge would have been better. Um, I, I think he was on Holding Attack, too. There certainly would have been a way to get these... Yeah, no, they weren't on Holding Attack, but I think they weren't completely forward positioned. Uh, these infantry troops, but there would have been a way to get these guys to eat the lance charge and then have the elephants kill everything And I think that would have won but really this is a bit risky You want to have in my opinion five chaff dudes that are in the elephant squad to keep them from getting the morale penalty and Then this squad would have gotten pretty wrecked when they hit uh, As soon as they made contact with the enemy, so I don't know um, Okay coming down We've got our battles. Um, here we're going in against this. The, our first step onto Valanis, and there were sea trolls here. And I told you last time this would be really easy, and then we'd probably only fight one or two of them uh, at a time. And indeed, they really do come in literally one at a time. Um, and so this was super easy. We are getting hit by water strike. I think we may lose a guy or two just due to that. Um, and then these dudes on guard commander. I don't know. We lost two mad ones. Very clean. Over here, we uh, attack the Amber Clan. Oh, whoops. I hate how if you click while it's going in, it takes you out of it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so basically just crushing them. Uh, we got diseased. Great. We've gotten diseased so many times. It is one thing. I don't necessarily love commanders that these guys get recuperation. I don't know. It takes away some of the flavor of the game. And the, the chassis that used to get recuperation, it was awesome on. But I do think... Uh, getting wound fend and disease resistance on all commanders. That's like my middle ground for where I think is like a cool balance of flavor um, But also not getting just like completely punished for using your gods in combat um, Anyway, I mean they they have recuperation and uh, disease resistance here in dominions <coughs> in dominions enhanced, but So that was our god um, here we actually bounce and uh, I knew this one was risky. I was looking at the stats, and I was thinking, you know, these guys, they only have 8 attack and 8 defense, and my guys have 13 defense and 10 attack. So I should shred these dudes. And these guys, their attack is pretty good, but we, you know, we have shields. We'll block some of them. I think the truth is, like, I should murder these guys, and I think these guys end up kind of crushing me. So... Yeah, and here, even here we get crushed, too. Actually, these we end up crushing. Oh, we were just outnumbered a bit. So we we lost an equal amount of troops, but I don't know. We got routed. Could have been a formation thing. I'm not actually sure what I should do. I mean, my intuition here, just looking at this, is maybe if we were closer together and they went after the same squad... 
but maybe also this is just too high of attrition and really the answer was not go yet and wait till i had like 10 more troops because i would have taken less attrition if i had more troops like even if i won this fight i probably would have lost it in terms of gold and whatnot but goddamn indies are so bad um and th that was a that was like a reasonably hard indie stack you know it's like 35 dudes with shamblers so i mean it's not hard but I don't know. Here we're continuing on land. Uh, over here, uh, we yoink these tritons. So you can see our expansion is actually, and it's not slowing down, it's picking up. And these guys do pretty good. We only lost two. Uh, Tritons are horrible, though. Um, and over here, I think this is our last battle. This is our army that's coming down the left side of our planet. Uh, and here we're fighting these Triton troopers, which are pretty good. They've got 12 protection. They've got poisonous barbs. Um, it's going to be annoying. But uh, we're going to mind blast the crap out of them before they get here. And, uh, yeah, it worked pretty good. We're going to lose a few to poison. And I think I said this last episode. We lost three, which is about what I thought we'd lose. Um, but we brought enough guys that losing three is not a big deal. Um, and, of course, we get uh, a good event, which doesn't matter. And we get a bad event, which does. So, great. Uh, this bad event happened right here on our border. So... I don't know. I might have to send this army back down to patrol this unrest out. I'm wondering, does all... Oh my god, there's a death site here. I'm trying to figure out where these death scales are coming from. Because there were three scales here before, which made me think it was like a pretender. Somebody else's dominion. Like, maybe these guys? No, they have growth dominion. Alm doesn't. I forget who's over here to my north. Anyway, it was a successful turn of expansion. I do need to figure out. There may be a death site here. I know there's a death site uh, right here. Wait, no. I thought there was one. Oh, wait, is he old? Okay, he got diseased, and I was like, okay, well, he, but it's winter. So shit. Did I did anybody else get diseased? Well, Zigu is not long for the world. Um, he has never healing wound and diseased, which means he's on a short clock. So he's going to sight search his little heart out um, and then expire. Uh, we're gonna continue exploring up here. Apparently, Krieg, which are these demons down here, um, apparently they have made their way onto this asteroid. Um, and they better not come over here and mess with me. Um, so we're going to go take this. This is ours. Um, yeah, we're not going to be cool if they come down here. And I may kick them off of this uh, as part of a war effort whenever people, land nations on my continent, feel they need to deal with them. Uh, Agartha also, who is down here, staled this turn, which is not great news. Uh, in any way, shape, or form. There's a few players that do not appear to be doing very well. Uh, old Atlanta, uh, old Oceania is over here, and they had been taking a while taking this, but, you know, I had taken this, but it got taken by Indy, so in some ways you can say I'm the same, because I don't have something in my cap circle. But they haven't taken this, nor have they taken any of these. So, I don't know what's going on. Playing Oceania and only having two cap circle provinces is a big deal. You're really going to get cucked on, on resources. Um, and then how does he get... Yeah, this one goes over to Blandos. Uh, and I've also talked to Yomi. So Yomi is right here. And they are expanding... Apparently they... Um, Jotunheim is also on Blandos. 
And they've done all the expanding they can, or they have borders or whatever. And so Yomi is just expanding everywhere. He's going all over the stars. Um, he's come... I forget where he is. I saw some other place with a Yomi flag. Oh, yeah. Here? He's just going everywhere on every planet. Uh, and the difference when I go on every planet is when I go on every planet, there's usually like a single choke point where people can mess with me. Um, or like a couple provinces. Yomi, he's going in a place, he's gonna be like surrounded. So. Oi. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit dicey. It is a bit dicey. Um, but anyway, Yomi's up here, and the news I have gotten from Yomi is that he has not seen Oceania up here at all. And what that means is Oceania is maybe... I mean, maybe he's only like six provinces, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, We're not ginormous, but we are not six. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I had a little sneezing fit. Uh, seven and then eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we're 25. And we ain't done by damn sight. Um, once we get this, this will easily get us up to like almost 40. And this will get us up to like 50 or 60. Um, and then we've got plans, which we talked about after that, what we're going to do. But it's looking like... One of those plans might be eating Oceania, if they're small and weak. Because um, we would like to have this part of our planet. Really, they have to fight us at some point. Because um, the ways off, the aquatic ways off Blandos are mostly down this way into us. Except this isn't technically an aquatic way off. You go by, via this cave, which is not a sea cave, and it goes to the land, which is weird, but whatever. But anyway, I, I don't think there's any other real aquatic ways off. But there's a lot of good water provinces over here on Blandos. They're just not... Uh, there's no way to leave. So that means he's basically, once he's done expanding, he has to fight me. So I think I just accept that fact, and then they're going to be our first war. I mean, Oceania is not an aquatic-only nation. They have, they're basically, you know, they're just as amphibious as we are. Um, yeah, these guys are amphibious. They don't get hoof attacks on land. Um, but, you know, they're solid sacred units on land. Um, these guys turn into centaurs. On land, they're basically an inferior Pangea. So... Um, I can't remember... I, yeah, okay. They can't seduce underwater. They can seduce on land. <clears throat> but, uh... But, yeah. They're, um... That's probably gonna be my first war target. I, You know, I was thinking it would be down here. But seeing how bad their expansion is, where they don't have two of their cap ring provinces already... I really want to get a scout over here, but the one scout I built, my scout province, died... This, these goddamn trolls. And unfortunately, the items I'm procuring, one of them... Um, one of them did not get built. And so it's coming in a turn later, uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, it means I'm going to take this a turn later, because we're going to synchronize when my god takes this when I give him the items. And I really need to make a hat, which, anyway, I can do it the turn the thing gets in. So I would be doing it this turn, but I'm going to do it next turn. Because it's, you know, going to be sent then. Um, so that's one of the things I wanted to talk about was Oceania appears to be failing. Um, Relay has finally pushed up into me. And he's got 50 Lobo Guard and an Abolith. Uh, and we have a nap. Um, over here, we're going to opt for... The hit this, then bounce back and pick up troops, and then push forward. And this group, I think, will go like this. Yoink! Around the top. Um, and it's going to effectively get three turns of recruitment from this fort. So um, these guys are leaving this turn, 
we're going to have one more turn of recruitment. And then this guy is going to bring that turn of recruitment um, down here and rejoin when they come back. Um, we could probably take the shark, shark tribe if I joined up with just, like with only this one thing and maybe take this a bit sooner. But we take more attrition, and I think this party would stall out before it got too far. So we'll take this, which should be basically, you know, <clears throat> uh, free and easy. And uh, we'll join back up and hope that works out. Um, we also are going to be finishing the fort this turn. And I don't have a lab to put in it, so that sucks. But what I did get is we got a free spawn priest, uh, which is pretty nice. It's pretty darn cute and nice. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and move over here and build a temple. Um, just start getting our dominion spread over here. Um, unlike if you're playing vanilla, you, and you do a low dom build, you actually want to keep your dominion. Like here we have dominion strength of two. Um, and dominion, I, I think you really don't want to do that in vanilla. You want to go dominion strength of one and you only want to build, you know, four temple, three temples. So you never get over the threshold to raise your max dominion strength. <laughs> it's a weird way to play, but it can work. Um, you have to use a lot of preachers, but um, we are not going to be doing that. In fact, um, we're going to just be building temples wherever we can to spread our dominion. Um, we're just starting out with it low because it's going to, sure, it's going to generate free spawn, but it's also going to generate unrest and headaches. And later in the game, we'll have the ability to deal with all the headaches and unrest that it's going to generate. Right now, uh, much less so. So, we want our dominion places, but we want low dominion where we're not getting a ton of unrest because we don't really have the tools to deal with it yet. Um, but we're not going to worry if our dominion goes from two to three yet because later we're going to want it to be really high. Um, the other thing is um, we need to start thinking about where we're going to get forts. And I think this is a good fort location. Well, kind of. No, this is. So this will suck income from here. I mean, resources from here. It's a large province. It gives, you know, a fair amount. It's uh, deep sea. So we're going to get, if we get attacked or something, it'll be like a cave. Uh, we've got four things. It's a, you know, an important access point onto this planet. Uh, anyway, this seems like a good place to fort too. So <clears throat> uh, we'll come down here and fort this in not too long. One of the things that kind of sucks is all these oceans are super generic. They're all just sea. There's no, like, kelp forests. You know, there's no gorges or whatever. All these things are super generic. So we're not going to have, like, oh, this is a great place to build a fort like we do up here on the uh, the jellyfish. The jellyfish are all kelp forests, and some of these are large, too. Um, everything else is pretty goddamn boring. But we're still going to need a lot of forts to make units, and I think this will be one of the locations. Um, I also really want to get forts built up here, um, and it sucks that this failed, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's going to be a while till we really get a major force um, going underwater here. Um, I think I'm going to have to use my god primarily to help finish up expansion down here, and I'm going to use my troops to come through here and, and finish up expansion this way. Um, yeah, it's... The other thing I'm kind of thinking about too is I do kind of want to get this one province with my god. Because getting it... So here's the thing, I could take this province this turn with Triton Troopers and Shark Knights, um, or I could wait a turn and uh, if I wait a turn, it's a little, you know, these guys are going to go here and here. The thing is, once I go here, I don't think they're really strong enough to come down and and take this. And wait, are these two connected? Yeah, and it's going to be really out of the way for me to hit both of these at some other point in time. So, I anyway, we're going to do this for kind of like, you know, an efficient pathing route. But once we take this... Next turn we take this, we'll have this dude who bounced, you know, this is the guy who bounced up here. He'll come join. I was thinking about getting more dudes here, but we kind of ran out of money. I had to scrounge and not do as much PD in places and stuff as I wanted to start this, um, this rock walls, which we're building. 
Um, and I'm also building, I probably should have mentioned, another fort over here. Um, adjacent to my capital on land. This won't affect the resource draw of my capital. What it will do is give me a nice safe place uh, to get cultists from. Uh, and that we want. And that we definitely want. Ooh. Pale ones. Kind of interesting. Um, there's a chance we come up here and maybe bump Krieg and try to take over this. We'll see. Um, anyway, we've got two forts going up this turn, so we're a little strapped on cash. And I had said I wasn't going to overfort, but what I'm realizing now is these indies are pretty goddamn horrible. Um, these are good, and I probably should be maxing this out, and I think I'll probably switch to it. I mean, you can pour a shit ton of gold in these because they're 18 per, and they don't cost anything. Um, and they hit hard. And they, but they don't have great stats, and they don't have great protection. They have good hit points. So uh, I probably should make more, because I, I, like a squad of 50 of these would actually be a good expansion party. And I think they get a lance charge, too. Oh, no, they don't. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, it would be good to make Shark Tribe. There's some other things. These are really nice. Unfortunately, these cost a lot of resources, and I don't have enough resources for Amber Clan. One thing that's cool is the Amber Clan Mage, you can roll a fire random, which is pretty darn useful. I think it's worth spamming these guys out until you get one um, or two. Uh, they can make rune smashers with those, and fire, fire water is actually a pretty good cross path. Um, so anyway, we're going to do this. The, the thing, and I don't know if I can finish this thought, if we take this and we take this, once we have this province and this province... It actually connects up here. And so I can use my god or whoever to go over and expand in this way and still trace income. But that being said, I mean, this one actually is not super important right now. Maybe I would rather do stuff where I could trace income and get a head start on this fort. I think we might do this. We might take this out now. Because these... Uh, I don't think this squad will be able to take it easily. Um, so we'll have them come through, and we'll build up some reinforcements here. So by the time they get here, there's maybe a bunch of shamblers. And uh, these guys plus shamblers can start killing stuff. We'll take this, and the next turn is going to be one turn too soon, because I'm not going to have the item of ship yet, because somebody's building my last item I need this turn. So we'll do one more expansion with our god. We're going to come up here, most likely. Probably right here, because I want to see what throne this is. Um, so we'll tunnel our way this way with our god. We'll keep expanding around. I'm going to build like a, some commander here, ping this throne immediately. If we can take it, we'll take it. Because I this is one of the forts I want to build over here. It's going to get just an enormous amount of resources. It's also a large province, so it's going to get more uh, recruitment points. So this is just a very important problem to, do, to get for several reasons. So I think we're going to do that. That'll be like a focus of my god. But he'll have... Um, I th okay, so he gets this, then he's going to come over here, take out the sea trolls, get loaded up with his gear, and then come back. So by the time he's over here messing with this throne, he's going to be a lot scarier. He's going to be like 28 protection instead of 15. Uh, he's going to have five more attack skill and five more damage. So these are all going to be like almost guaranteed one-hit kills. Um, he's going to have a hat on so he doesn't get stupid mute afflictions anymore. You get mute afflictions when you get hit in the head. Um, yeah. I I'm also, we're switching up our research. I think I talked about it a little last time. We're going Thumb 3 and then Conjuration 5. Enchantment 1 thrown in there too uh so i think that's it guys i think that's it um i think that'd be all uh if you've enjoyed it uh let me know in the comments uh and otherwise i will see you next time cheers